Activity that has a little science mixed in, mixed in as well. Uh, it's a Thanksgiving craft that utilizes chromatography, and this is a little chemistry experiment that shows how colors can move. And so, what we're going to need are some uh, plastic cup and some sponges that have been cut up into small squares. And then we'll put in each cup, we'll put a, a sponge and we'll fill it with water to just below where the sponge is. So we want the sponge to be um, above the surface there. And we're also gonna need some coffee filter papers. And you can um, decorate these with water soluble or washable markers. You can decorate them and do designs and everything. Uh, and uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold this. And after you decorate it with the marker, you can do this too. Fold it in half and then fold it in half again and then fold it in a half again, and then fold it in a half again. Okay, so you could do that with the decorated um, coffee filter. Or now you can um, add some, some food coloring to the tip here. So what I do is uh, you could just have different colors of food coloring and little dishes, and you could just dip it very, very quickly in there. And so I have some here that have uh, already been dipped. And you can let this dry and, and prepare this ahead of time if you're doing it for a classroom or something or you could do it right away. So, um, so I've prepared some of these, and what I have are mixed mixtures of colors down here, but because all the different colors are gonna travel at different rates, we're gonna see that they're gonna separate as the water travels through them. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna rest each one of these, just rest it on the top of the sponge, and then what we're gonna have is the water is gonna be drawn up through wicking action, action uh, and it's going to wet the the filter paper as it goes up and as it does so it's going to carry the colors with it so you just need to rest it on there very carefully very gently and you'll see as it starts to go we're going to see a separation of some colors so we can get some really nice uh, designs here when it comes out uh, it's nice to have a paper plate or a foam plate so that when it's wet you can take that and dry it off a little bit so it doesn't get too messy and it'll help it dry a little faster but after a while it'll still be kind of wet and even when it's like this you can do some crafts with it um, and, and make some art projects. So here are some examples of the finished projects. And then uh, one thing you could do with them is make little butterflies. So I've done this in the past but for Thanksgiving uh, the, my teachers at my kids school had some great ideas about making turkeys with them so uh, we did that too. So you can just again with a paper clip, uh, a clothespin, you can make a little turkey and what I did was I cut one of these in half so that I could uh, make a couple layers here. Um, but if you want to uh, have the kids cut out little uh, turkeys and decorate them, you can, if they do two of the filter papers, you can staple them uh, top to bottom or you could staple them side by side so you can get a few different pictures out. Very colorful, very nice. Or you could just do a single filter paper and uh, and what we just did was staple it right you can even do it while it's a little damp you can staple it and that works nicely uh, or you can make a nice put it on a nice background black background it stands up very nicely put a staple down here and then just a little dot of glue up top to hold it in place that one work, works pretty nicely and then another option is to cut the filter papers in half and then you can either make a freestanding so this is two different filter papers uh, layered on top of each other so you get some nice different colors we also added some googly eyes and then we had one that's uh, very creative this one is an alien uh, turkey so he's he's pretty crazy with all those eyeballs but you can see we did two filter papers cut them in half and then just stacked them up here and, and glued them into place so that gives some very nice colorful art there so we can see Let's just take a look at a few of these. Look like they're almost done. So this one looks like it had some red and blue food coloring in there. So you can see them separate into the different colors as they travel at different at different speeds. We call that chromatography. Dab that. This one had some yellow and green, it looks like. That's a very nice one. Some have all sorts of the blue and green come out very nice together really pretty colors and you can let it go all the way to the edge 
or you can leave a little border of white. Uh, don't let it go quite to the top. That looks nice too. So again, just, just make sure you kind of dab this off, help it dry a little bit so it doesn't get too drippy and have a plate down so it'll catch some of that water. This one, it looks like it had all sorts of colors in it. I see some blue and green, uh, some green and yellow and some red. So that's neat one too. That one looks like some nice autumn colors. So you could do some other fun things with these papers. You can cut them up and uh, do some do some shellacking with them or some other artwork. They make some really colorful um, some colorful pieces of paper that you can work with other crafts. But this is how you can make some Thanksgiving turkeys. So hope you have fun with your chromatography project.